What's up everyone? Today, we're gonna be going over leak code 931, minimum path falling. And the input is a 2D grid, and the output is gonna be one integer. And what they want is to find the minimum path from the top, any of the columns, to get to the bottom. And what we can do is go either straight down or left or right at most one. So from two, we can go to six or five or four. From three, we can go to six or five. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> so of course we can't go out of bounds. Now, the way I solved this one was to use a 2D grid of DP. I'm gonna populate my 2D grid and then at the end, I'm going to return the minimum number in the last row of my DP array. So this is also gonna be 2D grid. Now, the first thing is to go layer by layer because each spot is, has a DAG dependency on its predecessor except the base case. The base case is going to be just this row itself because that's the minimum cost to just to get to the first row. Now, the, the way I handled the edge cases was if an index is on the edge, if, if a number is on the edge, then it's just gonna get its upper and upper right or upper and upper left. Otherwise, it's gonna get DP from the previous three. So let's get into the code. So int m is gonna be grid dot length int n is going to be grid of zero in length. This is just the height and width. And then int dp is new int mn. And I'm going to initialize for int i is equal to zero, i is less than n, i plus plus dp of zero of i is gonna be set to, let's call it grid, grid of zero and i. This is just the base case. So that one, this piece of code, this piece of code is gonna fill up this line. Now, now let's get into the meat of it. Okay, let's get into the meat of it. Now, we have the for int i equals one, i is less than grid dot, oh, well, we already have it, so m i plus plus for int j is equal to zero, j is less than n, j plus plus, if j is equal to zero, which means if I'm currently on this one, it's going to be, dp is going to be the minimum of these two plus itself. dp of i of j is going to be a grid of i of j plus math dot min of dp of i minus one Oh, not, uh, yeah, I minus 1 and J, comma, DP of I minus 1, J plus 1. What this means is this guy is going to be 4 plus either 1 or 4 plus 2. This guy is going to be 5. If, else, if J is equal to N minus 1, DP of I of J is going to be grid of i of j plus math dot min dp of i of i minus 1 j or dp of i minus 1 j minus 1. That's for this case. So this one is going to be either uh, 6 plus 2 or 6 plus 3. It's going to be 8. Now when we come here, 
all we have to do is write else, else of dp of i of j is going to be grid of i of j plus math dot min of the three things above it plus itself. So it's going to be either 5 plus 1 plus 2 or 3. It's going to be 6. dp of i minus 1, j, comma, dp of i minus 1, j minus 1, comma, dp of i minus 1, j plus 1. Now I know this is there's no math.min which takes 3, but you get the idea. So now once everything is filled out, so 7 is going to be uh, 7 plus 5 or 7 plus 6 is going to be 12. 8 is going to be either 8 plus 5 or 8 plus 6 or 8 plus 8, 8 plus 5. And then 9 is going to become either 9 plus 6 or 9 plus 8. 9 plus 6 is 15. And then we're going to return 12 because it's the lowest number on the bottom row, which is the output. Uh, so that's how I solved the code 931. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe it and let me know what you think in the comments below. It'll motivate me to make some more. Thanks.